Hello and welcome back to The Division. Um, in the last episode we did another medical mission and uh, managed to get ourselves some more medical supplies. Um, in the beta we're actually going to need 500 supplies in order to unlock the next upgrade so we don't have enough at the moment um, but we do have a couple of things to uh, sell in our inventory memory serves so let's quickly uh, just nip up to the uh, vendors up here and we'll ditch the excess it also looks like uh, we're very close hey, to level 7 which would be good Yo, check out the merchandise. alright sell um, yes let's get rid of this uh, the backpack And we'll keep all of this stuff. Be able to actually use that shortly. Um, still not very much money available to us. Uh, yeah, we need quite a lot more. <laughs> that seems kind of pointless, actually, I'll be honest. But for Marksman's rifle, I suppose, he's only got 10 in the mag. Yeah. Um, I'd probably still rather not rely on it. Alright, what do we have over here? Oh yes, I was going to... Um, there was a guy with backpacks... Ah, oh, it was this guy, wasn't it? Or was it actually the guy back at Hudson Docks? It might be the guy back at Hudson Docks. We actually lost the footage from that. Um, had a backpack with uh, even more ammo capacity uh, available. And uh, that is really something that would be beneficial to me. I can live with that. Whatever you need. Okay. For now, I think if we just keep saving up our money. And I'll see you around. Oh, do you actually have something new? Agent, the fact that you are not grievously wounded and being eaten alive by a wild dog right now is a testament to your competence. Fantastic. Good work in any case. I guess that's because we um we helped some uh, security people in the last mission. Uh, so, I don't think we got anything gear-wise out of that. But, um, we are now level 7. We could look at the uh, reflex site, see if that's worth putting on anything. What do we have on here at the moment? We've got a VX1 scope. Take a look. I think I would probably rather swap it out, actually. Slightly improve the optimal range, because we don't really zoom in even though it is a sniper rifle. Okay, yeah, let's put that on. I don't think we've got anything for this. No. Nope. Underbarrel laser pointer. Ooh. Let's just increase accuracy, actually. That's better. And quick release magazine. There is a... Yes. That... Oh, extended magazine could be good. Two extra bullets. Mm, it's not actually going to increase the amount of uh, bullets we can hold in our backpack, though. So let's not do that. And of course, no skin mods. All right, and the shotgun. <laughs> that ridiculous sniper scope, uh, <laughs> which we'll leave on it because it's small enough. Uh, hit fire accuracy is probably quite good because we tend to use this for blind firing around corners. And this one, actually, I think we will give an extended magazine for. Yeah. One extra bullet is going to be quite useful. Lovely. As I said before, still keeping the uh, AK-47. Uh, not actually going to swap out. I just meant to go into this. Because, uh, okay, so we can sell that ACOG scope. I don't think we're going to use it at all. And if that VX1 scope is in our inventory now, we can sell that. 
Um, I'll give this the vertical grip because we may as well. All right, let's sell that ACOG scoop. Best in the bar right here. Yes. <laughs> and yes. Okay, cool. That might just save your ass. All right, let's see what we've got going on. Great stock up. And we have got uh, another side mission to do. Um, some more medical research. Yeah, okay. Let's go rescue these hostages first because they're close. And then we'll go and do this uh, virus data. And perhaps when we come back, there will be some level 7 gear that we can purchase around the place. Nobody shares anymore. Hey, why are you threatening me? Loving this snow. Do you need help, sir? Have some water. Thank you so much. Just about seeing them on my radar. Morning. Hostile presence detected. Yeah, I can see them, thanks. See you. Don't shoot at my allies. Oh, he is in a really bad position to shoot. Fine, we will advance. Let's see if we can't help. If we go slightly different place, yes, flank him. <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of like flanking. <laughs> Let's check what was dropped. Uh, oh, it's interesting. Let me just uh, change weapon quickly. See how it compares. Okay. Yeah, that's that could be all right. We we'll, we shall review that a bit later. I don't think it will replace either my shotgun or my uh, sniper rifle, but it's uh, definitely something to look at. Where was the other one? Is that inside? Oh yes, that's the key, isn't it? I hear you people. It's alright. I'm coming. Just, you know, priorities. Civilian secure. Weren't you captured in the last one? Man, you really need to take better care of yourself. else of note in here. Okay. The 
So, down to this encounter then. Yeah, I think at the moment my only complaint about the game, if indeed it, it is enough to be a complaint, is that the place feels very, very empty. And I'm not just talking about the fact that you don't really see other players running around outside of social hubs, because that makes sense. I mean, there's a, a lot of good reasons behind that, because otherwise you possibly wouldn't be able to get anything done with hordes of other people flying around and throwing bullets everywhere. Uh, no, it, it's more that the um, the groups of people tend to be so far away from each other um, outside of the uh, the little groups of civilians huddled outside the bases. Still really want some lockpicks. It's got to be a good way to get them. Ah, too many lockpicks. Have an energy bar. Thank you for your kindness. Construction mask. No, that's not a lockpick. <laughs> yeah, the camera angle goes a bit weird when you're running. Try and look and go into a strafe and then try and turn at the same time. <laughs> yeah, sort of has no idea either where you're trying to go and where you're trying to look at the same time. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to run sideways while looking up at the window. <laughs> Seen that one, thanks. Ah, you know what? While we're passing, because I keep forgetting to actually go down this, we're going to go down and have a look and see what's down here. down here then. No people trying to turn off water pumps? No? That's good. This looks largely neutral actually. And also much larger than I thought it was going to be. Let's continue looking around on this level first before we uh, Go nosing around anywhere else. No, can I take that? Man, I really wish I could take that. Axe would be awesome. Another way down. All right. How's this doing on the map? Okay. Kind of vaguely makes sense. And now our nav is saying we should go down here to continue on to our our quest line. That is Surprising. I do kind of want to look further down, but maybe not that way. Is this just running around in circles? Is that all it's going to take? Just around again. And this is a different one. Let's 
So what has this brought us out? Hmm. Okay, alright, well, let's dive back down because uh, we may as well have a look at the extra lower level down there. Surely there's got to be something of interest rather than it just being a slower way to get around town. And then after we've investigated that, we'll go on and carry on with the virus research. And here we go. Now, is there anything down here? Well, that's a different way up. Which goes to uh, yet another one. Hmm. Better not be the same one. That would be very confusing. No, pretty close, just like one street further over. I'm really kind of not seeing the point in these sewers though. It's, I was a little bit expecting them to be filled with like the uh, rioters and looters. It seems like the uh, sort of place that they would hide away from law enforcement while they're trying to uh, rob everyone. You know, a good place to uh, dive into and then plenty of uh, nooks and crannies to escape into. Bit of a windy tunnel. Pretty much nothing of note down here. Okay, well, let's go back up then. Whoop. It's a good job you can jump that high. So, I guess a uh, <laughs> word of warning if you're watching this and planning on playing, don't bother wasting your time with the sewers. There's nothing down there. I've seen better. What was that? Something blitz. Hi guys, how'd you like grenades? They're tossing grenades! How on earth did this get over here? <laughs> I guess the guy that died on the car, they figured that his loot would not be collectible there. <laughs> I don't know if people are going to make it. You are awesome. Thanks. Here, have a tin of something. You'll Pilchards, probably. Trendy skull cap. Let's put that on. That yeah, does not feel very trendy at all. It just feels like a kind of normal skull cap. Hey, stop breaking into the police car. Begging you, please. No. All right, dangerous virus areas. It really should have picked a better color than the uh, kind of like sickly yellow green for hazmat. 
makes people feel ill just looking near it. Anything down here? Oh. I do like that it um, highlights them on your map when you get close enough to them. Like, even if you don't have the upgraded ping thing. Uh, uh, right. Let's read that intel. Field data. Instant reports. Number two this time. Hey, check this shit out. Held up a guy at this penthouse uptown, right? Made him open up his safe, and this is inside. Wait. Is that money? Yes, son. Like 50 grand. I ain't seen this much money in my entire life. And where are you gonna spend that, huh? You gonna go shopping? Well, maybe it's like, uh, uh, investment <laughs> for, the, for the future. Oh, yeah. Your portfolio's gonna be fine. Yeah, stick it under your mattress. Well, I think I got filled to level one, possibly. Not 100% certain. Warning. Readings yes. indicate this area is contaminated. Warning. Contaminated supplies detected. But there's a phone recording. Sorry, you got to go listen to the phone first. Recordings. Suspicions. What's he doing now? He's going into a jewelry store. Oh my god. You know what this means? It doesn't mean anything. No grown man goes into a jewelry store at 11 a.m. <laughs> on a Wednesday. He's not the affair type, Alex. Then why the hell are you following him? Good questions. Hey, there's a crash drone somewhere. Have to keep an eye out for that. Alright. Oh, also it looks like there's some loot over here, which I will get before I start doing the uh wire scan stuff. Cut resistant pack? Sure. Take that. Thank you very much. Okay. Now from the last time, there's like several of these to find. And then an upload place. And usually some bad guys in the way. Let's restock. Uh, nope, can't go in there. Ah, uh, must be up here. It's getting pretty high. I guess that probably said something like, help not coming. No? What, further up? Okay. It's got to be another reader thing somewhere. Mm. Cleaners. Let's get that done. Sorted. Not much time to go. Where is this other reader? Say that, thank you very much. <laughs> Would still like to find that other virus scanner though. Ah! Is this? No, it's not. Damn it. Oh, that's the upload thing, isn't it? Damn it. That means I've missed it. Alright, quickly, double time. Ah. 
how did I miss it? It's like a giant box thing. Oh, I guess I will have to replay this one. Probably both at the start. Failed. Oh, at least I can possibly just uh, restart it straight away. Yes, that's good. Okay, let's try again. Alert. Contamination scan initiated. Okay. So where is the other scanner? That's the question. There it is! Damn it! Oh my word, that's... Alert. Contamination <laughs> scan initiated. Ran straight past it. How about that? Well, I've probably cleaned out the area by now. <laughs> yep, they're still dead. Howdy up. There we go. Contamination scan completed. Data uploaded to JTF servers. Nice one. Counter complete. I wonder if there's a. Uh any other loot potential around. A little hesitant to jump off buildings. Um, actually, I suppose that's where we came off, isn't it? We can go in and around a fast way by going over here. Just take a small amount of falling damage. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of this place. leave the area. Let's uh, have a look at this gear that we just picked up. So we're currently wearing the bodyguard vest, um, exotic damage resistance, a little bit of health, and increased kill XP. Ooh, that's going to be level 8. Um, and yeah, ooh, a little bit of health on kill. That's pretty cool. Probably wear it just because, in general, it's slightly better. Uh, and I do really want... The extra ammo capacity is quite tempting. But, not yet. Right, what do we pick up here? Oh yeah, construction mask. Um, yeah, a little bit better on the armor, but it makes our DPS work. So let's not do that. And a better backpack. That's two more capacity and a bunch of good stuff. Yes. One more capacity and a bunch of good stuff. Still yes. Uh, what else? We picked up a uh, heavy magazine spring. Reload speed and rate of fire. Interesting. And a new weapon. Please M4. That is quite a lot of damage. I mean, obviously per shot it's not, but... Bearing in mind that it fires much faster. Okay, I'll probably... Replace the AK-47 with that, actually. 293 and 850. 339, 600. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit... Either or, really. Okay. Ooh. Oh, 
upgrade can be purchased in the medical wing. Now Is that because... Contaminated area. Yes, we now have 500 supplies. Okay, let's go back to the medical wing. And finally buy that upgrade. Press F to fast travel there. X to fast travel there. F, X, hmm. <laughs> That was unusual. <laughs> it is something actually that I quite liked about this game so far is there haven't been any loading screens beyond the initial um, actually getting into the game. It's uh, been pretty cool. Like if you want to go into a building, you just go into the building. It's uh, all seamless transitions. Alright, let's get this bought. Oh, I only needed 400 for it. Well, how about that? The upgrades look great. If we live through this, I want you working in my lab. Excellent. I wonder what the perk is. Hopefully it'll tell me. Perk. Contamination intel. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hopefully my map will be a bit better. Um, so I'm probably going to use the recon pack, I think out of the uh, options here. Let's have a quick look. Skill mods! There we go, mod recon pack. Seems to make it... No, oh, I guess the total is after, after my skills and stuff take effect. Yeah, doesn't really change anything about the way it works. I suppose the cooldown might change. Let's have a look. 56.6, 56.6. All the other stats look pretty similar. Duration's down a little. Range is up. Yep, using that one. And another perk, which we can't see, but we know is the uh, updated map information. These tech wing upgrade, but we would need to be able to do the tech missions, and we can't because that's not in the beta yet. So let's have a quick glance at the map, see if it looks any different. Mm, not really. Yeah, I mean, we already knew this was here. And that's where we've just come from. So now that that's changed, we've been into this one. Uh, that might be one down there. Yes. Okay, so there are some differences. Ah, yeah. oh, right. Okay. Well, maybe we will check some of those out uh, next time. Ooh, actually says what's available in them. That's quite useful. What's going to say about this one? Contaminated zone, just one restock, yeah. Well, that's where we just came from, isn't it? Okay, alright, well, I'm going to um, end this episode here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you're still enjoying this. We've still got a few things to do on the PvE side of things, and who knows, if we get time, we might dip into the PvP dark zone eventually. Um, but that's all for now. Uh, I will see you next time.